What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM20 series where we we'll look at some of the young players on the game and see how FM reckons they're going to develop in their careers. Players, both players that I pick and players that you guys in the comments section give me. So this is a prime example of how the situation is going to work now. Chris Barry did it loads and we're now running out a list of players. I had an episode already planned to record. It's already been simulated, but I brought this one forward because it was a subscriber. So technically this is episode, what would it be, 65, but now it's 64 because I'm bringing it forward. So that's how it's going to work. So again, I've got an episode planned for 65, but if I get a comment in a decent amount of time to do another, to do another review, again, I'll push that one back as well. Obviously, if it's the day before, I can't. I've got to say, well, yeah, I will have so many time, hours in the day to get things recorded if it's very late on. So yeah, today's player is Emmanuel... Fijato, I probably messed up completely. If you want your player to be on the video going forward, all you've got to do is leave his name, his, well, essentially as much info on that player as you can. Name, position, age, nationality, all that stuff. Lead it once. Don't need to put it on twice. If I don't reply straight away and you're thinking I ain't seen it, I will reply eventually. Also, check the playlist and make sure that the player has not been done already. Um... The only times we will do players again are under my kind of discretion. I'll decide which players I fancy looking at again. So yeah, that's the that's not that's, not, that's the guidance I give you to get involved in this series. So Emmanuel, he's on loan from Bologna at Kievo. He's a left wing, sorry, no, he's not. He's a right winger who can play such a like mid. Seventeen flair, eighteen years old. Um, the highlights of his um, attributes are the 14 technique, the 17 flare, and 14 off the ball. Um, the, cuts himself from both wings and tries tricks. He is right footed. Is he? He's got a reasonable left foot, so wouldn't say it's a problem to play him. Um, you know, since you're talking mid, if you want to as well, uh, first be on a central position in, so that's fine. When did he sign for? He can't sign for season anyway because he's on loan. So okay, there's no. Oh, I must be those core cool ownership things. I'm guessing, right? Um. So yeah. Uh, so can we can we check on that? Any points? Okay, whatever. Um. <laughs> moving on. First jump. Let's go. Right, folks. He's back at the Bologna. Um. And you can see we've increased his crossing, his dribbling, first touch, finishing. The off the ball and flair and the general pace has increased as well. That kind of pace is usable in the wide areas for me personally. I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't have when really that much pace. All right, 15, 16, kind of that range. Same player traits. Is release clause in his contract? No, there isn't. Injury record here. Again, that's pretty good. It's not that um, worrying for me at all. So, Kievo on loan in Serie B, he got um, four goals, three assists. Back into La Liga, La Liga, Serie A, wrong league. Um, got eight goals and six assists in the first season. Then got seven and six. Then four, and in this season, his breakout year, I would say, in Serie B, unfortunately. Um, he's got 14 goals and 15 assists. I actually forgot to mention that that was Serie B as well. So, but in the Liga, it, oh God, I did it again. In Serie A, he's still got goals and assists. Obviously, in Serie B, lower down, he's got 15 and 14 goals and assists. So, this is interesting to see. I think he needs to leave Bologna. Um, I think he's ready to go. The key thing is, who gets him? Let's find out. Right, folks, he's gone to Arsenal. And um, that is... Engine move is worth sixty-two million pounds. The only real increase in him here is his first touch to sixteen. I'd probably say he's going to be his prime. So we'll make a reference. Now this is the thing you need to focus on. I might go back and end on the video anyway. In this, in the, in these, in these, um, you know, attributes and stats. So we've got running down the right hand side, kill balls often, leaks, likes, leaks, likes to beat the offside trap and tries tricks, cuts on both wings and likes to beat men repeatedly. In a lot of things. Clearly, you can add to this guy when you try and develop him. So, injury record is the most important thing. That's fine. No worries there for me whatsoever. So, how did he get on here? So, we saw the Serie B there with 14 goals, 15 assists. 
Newcastle brought in first for 13.75, 10 goals, 5 assists in the Premier League, then 11 and 11 in the second season. Excuse me, Arsenal then brought in for £49 million, got 9 goals, 6 assists, and then got 9 goals, 7 assists. Now, big jump there in difference in goals and assists um, from, say, B, obviously, but still doing it, we're doing well in the Premier League. So, where they're playing him, can we see that on here? Midfielder right, okay. That's not bad. I mean, what's his weak foot like at the moment? It's still reasonable. So, yeah, I mean, he's good. I would, I prefer more pace in my winger, but the acceleration of agility is really good. So, there's that to, you know, go for. So, I think this is prime. We'll go to one more jump and see where he goes from there. It might only be until he's 30 years old now depending how much he drops off, if anything. So, folks, still at Arsenal, and we're seeing now a drop-off in his stats. So, we're going to go back to his other prime stats from the previous year after this section of the review. The agility is up to 20. I think the, the agility is up to, up, to 20, up, to, up to 20, and I think the traits are exactly the same. Um, again, quick look at his injury record here. Again, I'm not worried about that at all. So, Arsenal. So, we saw the 9-7. and seven, Then... Didn't play much that year, interestingly. Um, 27 to 28, what happened there? Five weeks out. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Back in the first team, got seven, seven and four, then six and eight, then six and five. Are they still playing right wing? Yeah, but they've added a couple more places in there. So, yeah. Um, not quite worked out in terms of um, the continuing getting double figures in the Premier League because consistently but still a good player back to his main stats so these are what i say is primes now what are the plus sides of him well he's got good crossing dribbling and first and technique and off the ball stats his traits seem to be like he's very good at adding more traits on the worry i would have for me personally is that pace as a winger i'd like a bit more but i don't know again if he's off the ball is that good it might negate that a bit um, I'd say the transfer fees you're paying for him are kind of realistic. It's not exact. It's not exorbitant. I think the fee from Newcastle got a bargain for that amount of money. So yeah, I think he's very good. I think obviously um, you can play in two positions quite easily, which is a plus side for him. And yeah, I think good solid player. When I started the review, I wasn't quite sure about this guy, but he seems to be a very good player this year. Let me know, guys, in the comments section if you've managed to sign this guy and how he's got on for you, or have you seen him in your saves? how he's got on the no saves against you. Next episode is already been pre-recorded and not pre-recorded, pre-simulated. Like I said, if there's enough time to get your videos out before that, I will do so. If I, if it's a bit late and they've already got things scheduled, I will make sure the next review I do will be a player that you've asked specifically for me to do. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have, hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, Hit the subscribe button as well. And we've got plenty of ongoing on channel. You've got this series. You've got Ajax. You've got Jedi Fallen Order. Plenty of stuff going on. Hope you, hope you, hopefully you're enjoying all the series and all the content. I'll see you next time. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.